husband may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. There's not one of you here who's not looking for the morning, who's not looking for uh, some good times. Now let me say this, in order to remember who you are, you have to know who you are. You have to know something about what God has done, what he has made you, what he has called you to. And my thought is remember who you are. Remember, which will call for you doing something. You have to know. You have to know him. You have to know him who has set you, who has made you more than a conqueror. Oh, glory to God. You have to know him who has called you and who said unto you, regardless of what, having done all to stand, your mindset is, I'm going to stand. Now, I came out of a, a situation. Bless God, I had a death sentence on me. Amen. Now, a lot of you don't know anything about a death sentence, but uh, Elder Rose does. He's been through something, and there may be somebody else here who has faced death. Amen. Paul said we had the sentence of death on us, going through some storms. This north wind is very, very effective. But then he prays, come thou south. Amen. We're calling for it. We're calling for the south winds. I need some peace. I need some calm. I need some rest. I've been going through something. The battle has been uh, furious. Oh, glory to God. And I'm saying, come thou south winds. Come on, south winds. Come on, south winds. This has been a long fight. Amen. I've been hurt here. And I've even taken, bless God, the eight count. And I'm calling on, bless God, the south winds. So now what do we want these south winds to come for? Well, first we have to look at what the north wind has done unto us. Has left many of us hurt, uh, discouraged, disillusioned, and despondent. Uh, but when this north, when the south wind blows, the effect is that the spices thereof may flow out. Which means that God wants to do something. He's taking you through something that he can do something. He said that the spices may flow out. There's some good in you. There's some good in me. And God is working things out just for you. Amen. Now the writer in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, bless God, uh, verse 18 reads as uh, such that our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Now this is big. You say, oh, I'm going through Oh, I'm going through something. This trial is so hard. But the Apostle Paul says, I will light affliction, which is but for a moment. It's a short span of time. He says it works for us. There's a work going on while you're going through something. God is perfecting the character. He said, our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more an exceeding eternal weight of glory. So now he's talking about something light, but he's also talking about something's happening. Amen. And he says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not. For the things which are seen, they are temporal. And the things which are not, they are eternal. So God is trying to work something that is going to be glorious. That's going to be marvelous. He's going to work for you and he's going to work through you. So he says, oh, bless God. He said that the spices may flow out. Now, this is the response of the maiden. He says, come on, north wind. 
You could come if you want. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to whine. I'm not going to white flag it. I'm not going to give up. Because I know that victory shall be mine. I'm going to be fruitful. I'm going to be a prosperous. I'm going to be blessed. And it's going to take something. But I'm up for the fight. The Bible says to fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Unto the which you are called. Come on north wind. Do your thing. Because in the final analysis. I'm still going to be standing. In spite of the death sentence. I'm still here. I still got to praise. I can still dance. Everything that they said. That I could not do. I'm doing it on today. Oh, glory, glory to God. The Bible says that when the enemy, he comes in, but he's not the one that's going to come in like a flood. It's the spirit that's going to come in like a flood. Hallelujah. And when the spirit of the Lord comes, he's going to lift up a standard. I want to say unto you, remember who you are. You're the redeemed of the Lord. And the only one that can say so is you. He said, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Whom the Lord hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Oh, glory to God. The enemy might come and he might attack. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. But we're the ones that got to sing the song of the redeemed. We're the ones that have to shout unto God with the voice of triumph and with the voice of praise. Is there anybody in the house that knows anything about the north wind and how effective the north wind may be? And is there anybody who can say after a while, by and by, the south wind is going to blow. The south wind is so comforting. The south wind is so soothing. The south wind is so relaxing. Oh, glory to God. And it will cause one, bless God, to take the relaxed response. Oh, glory to God. Remember who you are. You are God. He redeemed you. He called you by your name. And he said, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, it won't drown you. When you go through the fire, you will not be burned. Have you been through the waters? Have you been through the fires? Oh, glory to God. Winds, blow ye your winds. That's all right. No matter which way, it doesn't matter. I don't always have to have it good. Things don't always have to be to my liking. It does not matter. That's all right with me. Hallelujah. Through the storms and through the rains, through sickness and through pain, I, I remember who I am. I'm the Lord. I'm my beloved. My beloved is mine. Oh, glory to God. I'm sick with love. His banner over me is love. And I know when the smoke is clear, 